Excuse me, ma'am. May I come in? Yeah, okay, thanks. Good morning. Java class package. 
So, can you name some garbage collector? Some garbage collector, sir, like serial collector, pilot collector, CMS, and uh, geo collector. Okay. Can you tell me some? Uh, can you tell me about markable interface? Uh, Ma'am, markable interface is something which we don't have any member objects or member functions. So that is why like MDP, which we are unable to write any member functions or uh, any members into the interface. So that is what Ma'am will do. Okay, can you give me some examples? Uh, serializable interface and uh, clonable interface. Okay. The class? Uh, class is a blueprint which do not exist in the real world. Okay, what is object? Object is something which do exist in the real world. Okay, so can you give me any real-time example? Uh, yes, ma'am. So, like, we'll take a name of like like cars. Uh, car is a name which do not exist in the real world. But when it comes to objects, it was like my seats, bench, a BMW, etc., etc. So these are exist in the real world. We could feel them. So these are like uh, the car is like class, and the objects are like this car names and brands, etc. Okay. So what is inheritance? Inheritance is nothing but acquiring the properties of uh, parent class to child class. So that can be inherited. What is the keyword we can use? Uh, we use uh, extends keyword uh, to inherit from a parent class. Okay. What is the main advantage of inheritance? Uh, code reusability. Uh, just we will write once and we will inherit it and use it again. What is polymorphism? Polymorphism is something which having a multiple behaviors. A single character having multiple behaviors. It's called as polymorphism. Okay. What is poly? What is the meaning of poly? Poly means uh, like many. Morphism means like ways, many ways. That means like it was a Greek word, which means a many ways, polymorphism. Okay. So, how many types of polymorphism we are having? Polymorphism is like two types. One is compile time and uh, one is runtime. Okay. Can you give me any real time example for uh, polymorphism? Uh, like, ma'am, when you assume a student or a person, when he go to college, he has some set of rules, he has some uh, some behavior which to maintain with some other people. And the same person, when he is going to uh, an office, he maintains some other set of behavior where interacting with colleagues and etc. And when the same person coming to uh, his own home, he has some other kind of behavior where he is free and relaxed. And uh, this is how polymorphism works. The many ways a different behavior of a person is the real time example. Collections are present in which package? Uh, collections are present in util package. Util package. Java util package. Okay. How many types of collections we are having? Collections are mainly three types. Sets, lists, and maps. Sets are something uh, similar to RS, which do not allow any duplicate value and which do not uh, store serial. And lists are similar to sets, which allow duplicate value and stores in a sequence. And uh, maps are something which are key constants of Based on key, we retrieve the values. So what is the difference between collection and collections? Collection is an interface which is used to provide normal data, data structures to data such as functionalities to list, set and queue. But uh, collection is a class which is used to sort and synchronize the data which is present in uh, collection. Okay. So what is the difference between pool and remove? Uh, pull and remove are both used to take off the objects from the queue but when pull fails, it returns null uh, when it comes to remove, when remove fails, it stores an exception Okay, so what is exception? Exception is a runtime error which use uh, three, three blocks one is throw, catch and finalize in throw block, the logic uh, when have an exception it throws to catch block, catch block will throw to screen and uh, in finally, it is used to, it is like cleanup actions which will disconnect all the connected uh, attachments like files and uh, database connectivity, network connectivity. Connectivity, network connectivity. Can you handle multiple exceptions in Java? By writing multiple cache blocks. Drive block, uh, one drive block can access many cache blocks. If there is no drive block, we cannot able to write cache block. Uh, JVM will execute this cache block cache block when there is an exception. Okay. So, can you explain about uh, deadlock? Yes, ma'am. Uh, can I get a piece of paper? Yes. yes. Uh, we can... Uh, there are like two resources. One and two. And there are three threads. And when uh, some of two of these access the same resource, 
here a deadlock situation occurs and we use uh, syn- uh, thread synchronization method to overcome this deadlock situation. Uh, so can you tell me about the variable arguments? Yes ma'am, I will tell you with uh, an example. Okay. So ma'am, in this uh, I need a method with uh, two arguments. So I am writing a method called add and uh, I am taking two variables. So now I want same method with three arguments. Then I need to write again the same method with uh, uh, three arguments. So here uh, the code is going on. So to reduce this, we use this. So we'll directly write it like this. We'll take a method and uh, we'll declare a data type and we'll keep this three dots and write x. This will take a number of arguments or else we will write like this. We will take a method and we will like int a comma even this works it takes a n number of objects that which is integer. So what type of array internally follows? Uh, it is take single dimensional array internally. Okay. So I am giving one program for you. Okay. Just uh, write on your program for this series. up to so on and square don't use any mathematical formula and write down the program and explain it yes ma'am uh, we could write this by using for loops ma'am ok like class and public static void man ok and after this I am taking uh, integer value Mm. and this n will be 5 and another integer value called sum uh, that is that is equal to 0 and now I am writing a for loop for i equal to 1 and i less than n this value and uh, increment operator mm. and after this I am like writing some sum value which is initially 0 and I want to add it by multiplying like i value and it need to retrieve uh, this sum as an output print statement system dot auto print ln and uh, 0 and I want to add it by multiplying like i value and it need to retrieve uh, this sum as an output print statement system dot auto print ln and uh, okay can you explain it yes ma'am like uh, we will start from the for loop initially i value is 1 and uh, i is less than n this n value is 5 so that statement is true so now this sum keep starting executed sum is equal to initially sum was 0 and uh, plus i value is 1 uh, that means 1 into 1 that is equal to 1 here now sum value is 1 and uh, again we had an additional operator that increment operator so now i value will be is equal to 2 that means i less than n uh, that means 5 then this statement is satisfied so the sum value again execute now the sum value is 1 where we uh, in the previous step which we got and now i value is 2 so it will be 2 into 2 that is equal to 5 and it will again take an increment operator that means now i value is equal to 3 and i is less than 5 the statement satisfied and now some value will be 5 because in the previous step we had 5 5 plus 3 into 3 and that's equal to 14 and now uh, the again increment of operator is there and now the i value again incremented and it becomes 4 and now here i is greater than 5 that means 4 is greater than 5 the statement is true so again sum will be happen uh, like here sum is 14 and 14 plus like 4 into 4 that comes to the 39 
Okay. okay. Until i value is equal to 5 and after 5 it will be terminated. Okay. So, fine into hiding. Ma'am, uh, I was initially heard that you are recruiting a developer. So, uh, once I heard that I was being to the performer, the roles and responsibilities and the things which you needed. And I felt that I was 100% to the mark which you wanted. And uh, it's for us both win-win situation. However, you will be getting an employee and I will be getting a job. And I'm sure uh, I will be doing my 100% to it. And I was like, whatever the requirement you need, I will I have been so you can hire me. Okay. What is the uh, key role you want to play? Ma'am, from the childhood, I was like always attracted towards problem solving. So I wanted to be part of your development team so that I could do my best for the role and uh, solve a uh, number of problems which we face in the task. Uh, likewise, only a developer has a chance to solve uh, some kind of problem. So I was much interested towards that. Okay. So I'd like to join and work with you as a developer. How much salary you are expecting? Uh, basically, I was a fresher. I was expecting none of the salary. I was expecting for the experience or the knowledge which I gained from your company. So that the basic package is fine. And I was like, I want to acquire more knowledge and experience in your company. Session, you just wait outside. I'm taking your resume. Just thank you, Mom. Have a nice day.